South Florida continues to call for change. Protesters marched through the streets of Wynwood before then taking their rally to the highway. They climbed a fence, bringing I-95 to a halt. And this morning, some local business owners and one mayor are criticizing the county's response. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live now from City Hall in Miami to explain. Brooke, good morning. Hey ladies, good morning. City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is criticizing the fact that we still have a countywide curfew in Miami-Dade County. He says it's only hurting those businesses already suffering from COVID-19 shutdowns. This criticism coming as we round out a week of protests in South Florida. Protesters climbed a fence. To march on the northbound lanes of I-95 Sunday near Miami's Wynwood neighborhood. Law enforcement allowed them to go several yards. Then they were told to leave the interstate, and moments later they did. Protesters cheered as they left the roadway. Traffic cameras were rolling as the northbound lanes of I-95 were shut down. It's never a good idea to jump on an expressway to protest on an expressway. You run the risk of hurting yourself, a motorist, uh, some kind of incident that uh, can occur, and so it's really never a good idea. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez spoke to CBS 4 News before the protest started on Sunday. If we can make it safe, better to let them on, uh, the protesters on, and and then you know de-escalate the situation because the last thing we want to do is escalate the situation. He moved curfew to 9 p.m. after protesters got onto I-95 on Friday. That happened after the main march was already over. On Sunday, organizers led the protesters to the interstate during the march. The mayor says even though officers will respect protesters, there's a line they can't cross. We do have a line, and the line is we're not going to allow any destruction of property. We're not going to put anybody's life in danger. Uh, but, you know, you can stay inside those lines, protest, uh, you know, express your opinion. Uh, this, this is America. Chopper 4 was overhead as protesters marched through Wynwood against police brutality and racial injustice. We've become a national model, frankly, in terms of the way that we protested and also uh, the way that our police officers have acted. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez says he's listening to their concerns. So we're going to be doing everything that we can uh, to reform our department and continue to make changes. It's all about improvement. County Mayor Jimenez says he fought for and was able to get an outside agency to investigate police-involved shootings. He says he also fought to get body cameras before most departments, to name a few. He says he, too, is listening to concerns, but he says protesters and businesses must honor the curfew. The protests need to end at a certain time, and we do it countywide because then if you, if you don't do it countywide, then basically what we'll do is, okay, we'll, we'll just move it over here. County Mayor Jimenez has also decided to keep the beaches closed across Miami-Dade County while that curfew is still in place. I'm live in Miami, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 This Morning.